Every year in Sweden, on the 13th of December, we're going to celebrate something called uh, Santa Lucia Day. And loads of different things happen then. People go around walking in the morning with uh, lights in their hair, and there's singing, and there's drinking. And one of the things we do is that we bake and eat uh, saffron buns. This is something that I think most Swedes bake. I actually got a text message from my wife this morning. She just made them, even though it's just November now when we're recording this. <laughs> you want warm milk and butter, loads of industrial yeast, because you want to have sweet, wheat fluff, basically. This here is saffron. It's mixed with a little bit of vodka to extract the color and flavor. Sweden has a lot of sweet spices in its traditional food. It did a lot of trading with Southeast Asia. So you'll find saffron and cardamom and cloves in many of the traditional recipes. A little bit of salt, refined sugar, and high gluten flour. And now I'm just gonna work this until it's nice and elastic. I think that's on top of that. I have to read that. Have I written that? Damn. So there's one egg that goes in this batter. <laughs> See how often I do this. When this is mixed, we're gonna leave it to leaven. And it's gonna go quite quickly because there's a lot of yeast in there. So this is now nice and elastic. And I'm just gonna put the towel now and leave it for a little bit. So the dough has now more than doubled in size. It's taken 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Now I'm just going to shape it into a few different shapes, actually. There are many, many different ways of doing this. Roll them out a little bit like this. And we don't want to work this dough too much because it should be really fluffy. And then you just take these and shape them like this. And this is probably the most common shape for saffron buns for Santa Lucia. What you usually do is to also poke a little raisin into each one like that. And these ones are going to roll out a little bit longer. This is supposed to look like a head of saffron yellow hair. It's kind of strange. <laughs> as a shape of something you're going to eat. This is one of the more traditional shapes as well. Put the towel back on these two leaven for another like 20 minutes. And then uh, it's going to brush them with some egg and milk. So this is now pretty much ready to get into the oven. Make them nice and shiny. Like that. This will bake at 435 degrees, and it goes pretty quickly, like five minutes. <laughs> so they're done now, the uh, Santa Lucia saffron buns. I think it looks pretty good, eh? <laughs> smells very good, it smells of saffron. It's very hot. <laughs> it's about 435 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs>